Yeah, well, you know, obviously, first off, you know, what an incredible weekend for our student athletes. You know, I think um, our number one goal is to provide a first class experience for all of our student athletes and to have our women's team advance to their first ever Final Four and to get to our men's team having their chance to go to their sixth Final Four. You know, what an awesome experience for our student athletes. And it's a credit to our coaching staff, Coach uh, Bayheim and Coach Hillsman, for what they've done. And again, just an exciting time for not only our institution, but for our community and our state. Tomorrow there's a pep rally. Why is it so important that both these teams hear and see the community supporting them? Well, you know, I, again, I think those kids have been working so hard all year. And again, I think, uh, you know, it's great that these kids can see the impact they have on people. You know, we talk all the time that, you know, we want to make sure that we represent this place in a first-class manner at all times. And I think it's important for the students and the coaches to see how the community has gathered around these two programs. And again, it's a perfect way to send them off as our men leave them all. They go to Houston and our women leave them on Thursday go down to Indianapolis. This is the... Uh first time that the women's uh, is a part of the Final Four and the fact that they're going to be joined with the men's together, what is that like, you know, for you to kind of see that these teams really worked hard and they're continuing to work hard? Uh, you know, extremely proud. You know, I, I'm grateful. You know, I can't tell you how many people we have on our staff working behind the scenes. And you can imagine the amount of the logistics that are involved in getting the, you know, two teams of two different cities, you know, working with your fan bases, working with your donors and so forth. And again, but I'm just so proud of our team. And, and again, you know, we have 20 programs, 615 student athletes, and those kids work so hard. You know, if you look at what we have this fall, you know, the two national championships for field hockey and men's cross country. You have our men's soccer team that gets to the Final Four in soccer, and now you have these two Final Four experiences. I mean, it's a great year, but you know, I'm just really proud of our team and the country. What are you hoping for tomorrow? Give us, you know, the community will see this at least 5 o'clock for our station. What do you want the community to know about tomorrow's event? Uh, two things. First, how appreciative we are of their support. I mean, truly, this community is the backbone of our program. We're so appreciative of the support they give us. We're so appreciative when they buy tickets and they come to our events and support our kids. But also, I want them to see what great young men and women we have, what great coaches we have, and how proud they are to have Syracuse written across their chest when they compete. You know, again, they represent this institution, but they represent this community too. What is what is your plan in terms of travel? I guess where will you be? What's you know what are your uh... Yeah, I'm going to have a busy schedule, uh, so I'm going to leave tomorrow with the men, uh, and I'll be in Houston uh, through Saturday night, and then Sunday morning I'm going to travel to Indianapolis uh, to watch our women play uh, in Indianapolis, and then depending on the results, uh, if the men are successful, I will travel back to Houston on Monday. If the women are successful, I'll travel back to Indianapolis on Tuesday, so we'll have uh, a lot of travel going back and forth. It's impressive. Huh? That's cool. uh, yeah, I, mean, it, it's, uh, you know, I can't tell you how many of my peers I've heard from across the country saying what an awesome experience. And, you know, we feel really fortunate to have a chance. Uh, you know, uh, you, you work hard as an athletic director, you work hard as an athletic department staff, and, and to say you work at a program that has two teams in the Final Four is you know, a great experience, no doubt. What's, uh, you know, your hope for tomorrow? Granted, this is open to the public, and like you said, that the community is really rallying for both these teams. What's your hope in, in terms of an outcome for people here? Uh, you, you know, I, I never, uh, I always say expect nothing to be pleasantly surprised. You know, again, I think our, our hope is that people, you know, can take time. We understand it's during the noon hour, during the lunch break, and so forth. We hope people can come out and, and support these kids because they've been great all year. You know, I can't tell you when I had a chance, you know, when we hosted the first and second round for the women's tournament and the crowds we had at the Dome were awesome. You know, again, so we're hopeful that people come out and, and support our program and have a chance to see how much we appreciate what they've done for our program. I have one more question about the women. Everyone kind of complains that they don't get maybe covered as much and maybe they are less attentive than the men. Will this change that? Will this history change the future for the women's program? Uh, I'm hopeful. You know, you know, Coach Hillsman has done a phenomenal job. You know, he's been here a long time. And, you know, if you have a chance to come out and watch that team play, I mean, they literally compete for 40 minutes. I mean, they work so hard each period, and they do such a phenomenal job through all four periods uh, in the game. And, they, and, again, they compete so hard. And, again, I'm hopeful that people having a chance to come out to the first and second round of the ECA tournament that we hosted the first time in school history and getting exposed to it. And obviously, now with this final four run, we're hopeful that will translate into more people coming to support the program because those kids work awful hard. Mark, Given the circumstances that the, the program was in when you took over, did you imagine that? this team would be in this situation, particularly the men? Uh, you know, it, it's a hard question to answer. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, I always tell people there's a reason why you play the game. And I think if you look at our men's program, I think one characteristic of our men's program is they never quit all year. You know, I think one of our student athletes talked about that. But again, if you looked at through the course of the year, you know, we battled every night. We competed hard every night. And, and when you do those things, special things can happen. And obviously, they put together a great run here and we're very proud of them. Mark, were you impressed with the turnout into the women's home games for the tournament? 
I was, yeah. I mean, I thought that was awesome. I think we almost had 4,000 people, uh, you know, for the game on uh, on Sunday. So it was exciting to see that crowd there. And, you know, I can tell you my family was there and said the dome was rocking. And again, that, you know, th those go a long way in giving you a home court advantage. I mean, it's a huge opportunity when you can host the first and second round on your court. You don't have to travel. You can do those things. So, yeah, we, we definitely appreciate the support. Is women's basketball attendance something you'd still like to work on and hopefully improve? There's no question. We, we would like to work on our tennis for all of our sports. You know, again, as I said before, we have 615 kids that are working awful hard to represent this place the right way. And when the community supports them, that, that feeds them energy and helps all of our teams. Most Absolutely. fans will not be at the Final Four. They just can't get there. So for all of Syracuse, what do you hope they will be doing at least on Saturday night when the men play? Uh, well, I, I hope on Saturday and Sunday night they'll be cheering on the Orange. And, and uh, we understand not everybody can be there, but trust me, we can feel them. And again, we take uh, we take great pride in this community and who we are and what we represent. And I promise you, you know, when, when we compete, we're, we're not only competing for this institution and for our program, but we're competing for this community. And we are truly grateful to support you. Again. If you could please look back at Andrew as you answer this yeah. one. What do you make of some of the national sort of disrespect out there uh, from the men's team right now? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't pay attention to it. It's It's been uh, the last uh, 36 hours, 40 hours has been an absolute blur. Uh, you know, you, you can't control what other people say or what other people think. What you can control are your actions and how you respond. And obviously we're very proud of, of how we conducted ourselves and how we competed in this tournament. So that's what we focus on.